Hello, this is Martin Brossman, and this is a real quick video on how to get started using MindMeister. Just know you can sign up and get three mind maps using the cloud-based, web-based MindMeister program. So first, if you're new and you want to sign up for free, just click this and then follow the instructions for free. And if you go down here, see it says free for three mind maps, sign up. That's the one you want to pick three free mind maps to sign up. I do recommend it. I use the pro level myself. Now I'm going to go ahead and sign in because I already have an account. I sign in with my Facebook account to access it just for simplicity. You can also set up folders in the mind map program, uh, but I want to start by just getting you started with a new mind map. If you want to put it in a folder, you'd create a folder and then put it in there. We'll start with this. So I click new mind map right there and then under it there is different options please start with the blank one until you learn how to use it uh, it's a lot simpler so click blank next b-l-a-n-k that brings us here and i call this the root node so we'll say give it a name so i'm typing it in and then when i press enter it sets it if you want to put a second line on you press shift enter uh, so now it sets it and it's there. Next, you want to hit the key that will generate a new node. And then on the PC, it's a tab. On the Mac, it's a different one. I will put that in the text below. So I click tab and a node opens up from the root node and then put in information like, so I could say first point, And then I could click here again and click second point put it make another point and then click again and click third point now what if I go oh I really want these to be under the top three points so I could just click here and click tab again and say top three points and then from there I can bring these around and see how when I move them around that open clicks out to show me where it's going to go and let go. Bring this one around, let go, and bring this one around and let go. And then I want it to be on the bottom, so I line that up. Then I really want this to be on the right-hand side, so I drag it over there. Uh, the next thing to know on this is properties. Every time you click on one of these nodes, this area up here, properties, is controlling that node. So properties may be closed when you start the program or open. But if I can add a note to this, I can add a web URL to this, I can add files to this one, or I can add task where I say, uh, let's say in the big picture of things, this is first priority to learn. And then I might, if it was related to a task that's going to occur, I might put in not started as a task to give an example and could even add a due date on it and assign it to someone. So this is can also be a project, not just a tool to teach from, to, to develop ideas, but also for projects. Very powerful. My next favorite thing on this mind map is the little eye down here brings up another window. And if you click keep aligned, keep aligned, that will line them all up. A good place to start when you're beginning to keep them lined up. And then you can unalign them in the future. But sometimes people get uh, a little confused here. Uh, now, if you want to share it with someone, like they shared it with potentially you, you click the share button and you can put in private, shared, or public. So if I say shared, and then it's going to have my information, and then I can invite other people or I can click here and get a unique link to share with other people. Very nice for them to get into it, to copy it, and send it in an email. So that's that completes what I wanted to demonstrate. MindMeister, look forward to hearing your comments below and hope you enjoy it as much as I do. This is Martin Brossman. Look forward to hearing your comments below.